Today, I wanted to talk about drop-down menus and specifically dependent or dynamic drop-down menus. So here is a simple single choice drop-down menu. You create it by right-clicking on the cell and going to data validation. We're going to do a list from range. In this case, the user simply has the option of chicken or beef. Simple there. But consider if it's not just picking which type of meat, but you also want an option of what type of dish after that. In sheets, there's no way to reference which one is selected. I can't do an if statement in here. I just want to show the error. If I try to do this and save it, it just says that's not a valid range. And if you try doing that as a list, uh, it will actually put the formula as the option. So here, these are now the options because it's just a comma separated list. So in order to get this dropdown to work, we actually need to create a separate range that is dependent on A2. So here we're just going to just call this one dropdown. And we're going to do a filter. We're going to filter E2 through F4, where E1 through F1 equals A2. Now, if I do chicken, it says all the chicken options. If I do beef, it gives all the beef options. And now that I have a static range, I can reference that range. Perfect. So if I select this to beef, then here I have these options. If I change this to chicken, then I have these options. And so the two things that are necessary here, this is the formula or some formula like this. If you want to use VLOOKUPs, if you want to use queries for something this simple, just the filter itself works great. And then set the data validation equal to the output range of the filter. Drawbacks. If you get multi-layer, so let's say it's not just meat, and dish, but there's also cheese options, or you want to select if you want an entree or a side dish before selecting what meat and what dish. Having multiple, more than one level of dependency makes this incredibly difficult to hang on to. More importantly, if you're allowed to do this multiple times, it becomes incredibly challenging. So let's just go ahead and copy this because you can copy with the dropdown, right? You can copy it with the data validation. But now I can't just set this same data validation in B3 for the dish of option three. I can't just set that to the same G2 through G4. Because now it's a chicken dish based on A2 coming to the filter, where if I change this to beef, it's still the same. So using formulas to create dependent dropdowns requires a formula or a filter range for every single dependent dropdown option. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do this with scripts, but for a single level, for a single location dropdown menu, this works just fine to use the filter to create the range and use that range output as the range for the second dropdown.